Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. As you can see, we're going to be playing some more Tears of the Kingdom today. So this is uh, actually just day two of Tears of the Kingdom being out. So yeah, everything that you've seen up until now was an entire single play session uh, on day one. So I figured, well, today we're going to show off this uh, loading screen uh, or this uh, title screen and then see how long it takes to load into the actual game. I mean, I was saying this about Xenoblade Chronicles 3 uh, because I'm playing the DLC on channel right now, too, which is also um, developed by some of the same people. Um, a lot of the people at Monolith Soft helped build this world and make sure that the tech of this world was working. But like. They're incredible at making the loading times just work, even when you're like, like, this is what takes the longest is your initial load. But even that is like really fast for, you know, especially Nintendo Switch standards. It's really impressive. All right. So let's talk uh, to Robbie here. Hey, you. Show Josh the picture you took of the statue. The figure matches up pretty well and it looks darn cool too. This is it. This does match what's on the fragment. I wish I could see it better, but there's an idiot in the way. Yeah. Thank you, swordsman. Just like on the slate, this figure must be showing people of some sort, whoever. This figure must be showing people of some sort, whoever they were. Which confirms my theory that people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. This is a big, big discovery. Now, what's next? The possibilities. There's so much more to research. Oh, but before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you as thanks for helping with this stage of, the inve of my investigation. Our earlier surveys of the depths found all of this. What do you think it's for? Hmm. I feel as if these contain some kind of strange power, like maybe it's energy or, uh, for something. Anyway, they might help you in your search for Princess Zelda, so hopefully you find them useful. That fragment has helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're closer to understanding one of its mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything that our surveys have brought back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that I can piece together. Goggles! Swordsman! <laughs> Thank you so much for going to investigate the depths for me. So, we need to find another place where we can smelt those Zonite into the refined version. Because I don't think this guy does it. Oh, uh, you okay there? I will be the one. The one who solves the riddle of our local ruins. Okay, Grunion. Sleeping on the job, I see. Yeah, like this guy, I don't think can smelt this stuff, so. Okay. Yeah, he only makes energy cells. Oh god. Almost jumped directly onto those spikes. Real smart. Okay, so I think I marked this because this is a place where I saw boulders falling down. But I'm not sure that they fall in the same place every time. There may be some variance to it. Because we saw one... Over there as well. Yeah. So I think they can fall in a in a range of area down here. So we may just have to keep an eye out for them. All right. Well, with that being the case, I'm going to take those pins off. I'm going to go back to that tower over there. See if I can climb to the top of it. See if we get a Korok for it. And uh, man, there's so many things on my list of things I want to do. Um, I kind of want to go to wherever the monster slaying core is going. Uh, down that road near where that pit was that goes into the depths. And obviously we got shrines and I want to go up on one of those rocks at some point. So we're going to keep an eye out for falling rocks as well. All of the things. Uh, 
<laughs> Alright, now that it's not raining, we should be able to climb this. Hold on. Get your stamina full. There we go. Okay, I kind of thought that'd be a ledge we could rest on. I don't know if we're going to make it. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have jumped. Alright, I think we can make it if we just climb normal. Sometimes you just gotta go it slow. Oh, and there's a rock. Our dreams are coming true. Oh no! Alright, maybe not. If I can't climb that pole. Come on, you got this, Link. Okay, nope. No Korok. <laughs> Um, let's see. I think that's it right there. Okay, let's go and do this. rupees, huh? Okay, so that spirit doesn't drop, um... Doesn't drop whatever that other item is um, when we kill those frog things. Central Hyrule Sky Archipelago. Oh. Okay, you can just keep going. Gotcha. No, you can't. Interesting. So I actually can't get up there right now. Oh, maybe I'm just supposed to... No, because I... That doesn't get me high enough to... Any islands. Alright. Well, it was worth a shot. Alright. May as well head for... That right there. We'll go and do this shrine. And you know, something else that I was thinking about is... I was wondering if... When we're underground... The roots, I wonder if we can use Ascend at the roots. I kind of want to try it. I think that we have found the root that was over on that one too, so... Whoops. Okay, we got lucky. I thought I was going to die there. Okay, we can make it to this one. So not all of them are going to lead to an island. I think that's what I learned from that. Cool, okay. It's the first one of those we found. All of them have been small charges so far.
Got him. Can I? Oh, okay. So technically the axes are a fused club with a piece of rock. I didn't realize that. Interesting. All right, something else that I was thinking about last night is I haven't been doing a lot of shield fusions. What happens if I shield a fuse with a uh, shield fuse a shield with a shield? <laughs> Okay, it actually works. It looks so dumb. I love it. Hmm. It didn't actually get any stronger because they're both still four. But I wonder if it would get stronger if it... Maybe it, maybe it helps with durability, though. And if it helps with durability, then it's still very useful. I would bet it does. When did I pick this one up? Oh my god. Ooh, I do not like that. Oh my gosh. That was terrifying. What in the hell? Okay, I'm going to have nightmares. Okay, I never want to see that again. Ever. Hmm, it seemed like the smart thing there was to run from those. Because it's gloom, if it would have caught us, I'm guessing it would have started eating away our hearts? So, like, we couldn't fight it on normal terms, I don't think. Okay, let's do the shrine. That was terrifying. Spinning device. Okay.
Okay, I think they're going this way. So we'll start with that. Get it nice and close. Oh no! <laughs> I mean, we knew that was likely to happen, I guess, but... Alright, let's just go to the other side and... <laughs> yeah, we can make our own. Why not? Okay, let's see... Cool. Great. Okay, it's a little bit off kilter, but that's okay. Oh yeah, I already know what we need to do with this. I can read the room. I can read the room. Um, I guess we should find out what direction it needs to go first, huh? Is it this way? I guess it doesn't matter. As long as it's continually moving, it doesn't matter which direction. So, it looks like, let's see, oh, wrong button, yeah, right there, yeah, I think that'll do it. I guess it would help if I went the right way. There we go, that's it. Okay, so I think I had it the right way. Okay, so we're not quite there. A little bit over more to the side. No, no. Alright, I need to do it from this angle. Otherwise I can't see where it's going. I mean, that 
feels like that's what it should be, but maybe I need to go on the top. Okay, let's try right there. Nope, there's still no friction on the actual bar. What am I missing? Like, I just need to find the right place for it. Like, I know what it's supposed to do, it just doesn't seem to have a good spot for it. I feel like I'm missing something very, very obvious. Buddy, no. <laughs> I mean, will it get enough momentum if it's just, um, there? Okay. I feel like we did exactly that, but from the underside, but I think just because it has this weird lip, it didn't quite work correctly. So I, I, I had the right idea. I just went about it the wrong way. So I put it underneath upside down and that just did not, it, it didn't like that, so. But we got there. Visitor to the Shrine of Light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. Skip, skip, skip. Um, hi, buddy. How you doing? Ah, my friend and I got separated. Oh, he's far away this time. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired, though. I can't move. All right, we, we got this. We got this, bro. Don't you worry about a damn thing. Oh, 
Okay, let's aim it directly at it. We're probably gonna have to correct it as we go, but... Okay, actually, this thing is a lot smaller than... <laughs> I might want one of the larger ones, if I'm being honest. I want you. Also? I might be able to get these on a little bit easier from here. I got your back, little guy. Why would you do it that way? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's take this thing down and then we'll fix that last wheel. Got ourselves a car, ladies and gents. I think the developers of this game, after they made that motorcycle for the DLC, were like, we can do more. <laughs> Oof. Okay. We got this. We got this little guy. Don't even worry about it. I probably should have given these a little bit of overlap just so that um, <laughs> I could hit them a little easier. Unforeseen <laughs> consequences of my actions that I should have foreseen. You okay there, little guy? <laughs> At least we were close. I just wanted a bigger weapon so that I could hit them easier. Didn't think about the fact that that thing destroys, like, entire boulders, so... Yeah, that, that's my bad. Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. Alright, where do we think Hestu's at? Gotta open up our uh, inventory slots, you know? And we're nice and close to that other... Okay, right next to the tower. As well as a shrine. Okay, let's do shrine first. Ooh, I remember you. 
Yeah. There was a full-on gauntlet going to the top of this thing, and then there was always a big old Lionel at the bottom. The Exchange Ruins. Oh my gosh, it's a sign guy again. Humor me for a sec. Okay, just had to see if anything got dropped in there, if, uh, if anything would happen. That one's a good one. Okay, so it's a four right now. Whoops. Damn, okay. So maybe I should have switched them and made the stronger one the base? Just trying to figure things out. A bouncy bat. Made out of a hard tree branch, the tree soaked up lots of sunshine so it's sturdier than a regular stick, and it has high durability. I wonder if that would knock people back. You know, some of these weapons have proven to be very durable. I don't even know what I put on there. Let's see. What do I want to try? Let's try Choo Choo. Remember when I was talking about the durability? We're breaking it all now. <sighs> I'm pretty sure I nailed that, but okay.
Nice. Some pre-cooked bass. Okay, we're full up again. Alright, we're going to do this and then we're going to try and find something that we can pick up and prop that for our boy up there. And let's see, this should be our fourth one, right? We'll have four light blessings, so we should be able to get an upgrade. A fixed device. Okay, so I can take some of that stuff. Okay, so we got a target. <laughs> I fully thought I... Alright, I fully thought I could just... That was just a walkway down there, but nope, that's right here. Okay. Cool. Hey guys, I'm really good at video games. I'll have you know. Okay. So it doesn't want to stick to that. Can it stick to the top? Or maybe... Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay, I'm not immediately seeing what we're supposed to be doing here. I'm just interested in seeing if... Okay, so I can stop that ball. this anything? Okay, so those can plant into that, I see.
weird. How the hell do I get it to bounce up that though? Okay, those will not separate from each other. Is there a way to make this thing move though? Like the other one is like a moving machine. But this one is doing nothing. Can I push it? I didn't even realize those were stuck together. Eh, just touch it. There you go. You got it. How do you get that much momentum? I wonder if um No. I don't I don't get this one. I really don't. I feel like I'm supposed to understand more than I understand. I'm trying to figure out how I can um, create enough momentum in that direction to get it to actually jump off of that thing. Um, hold on, I'm gonna try smacking that thing. Maybe it'll make that thing move. We've already triggered this. Okay, that is a thing. <laughs> okay. Okay, interesting. Alright. That was not immediately obvious to me. I walked up to this thinking that this would be, if it was something to interact with, that I could push A on, but... That's, you know, that's what they say about assumptions, right? So that one... Open the shrine, but there's one over there too. Okay. Got to do the optional one. Okay. So I do need to smack it to the right. So starting something here. Honestly, even that way it might still work. But... Huh. 
Alright, so we have to start with this. Okay, let's keep it simple to start with. See how that goes when we smack it to the right. Okay, let's make it longer. Oh my god. <laughs> See what happens when we can hit it way earlier. Oh my gosh! Uh... Well that went back, but I need... I need my... Rod. I need one- I need that! I lost that too! Uh, you know what I can do? Hold on. Um, I think I actually do need that rod back, and I don't know how to get it back. Uh, maybe with just these two we'll be fine, but... Alright, can we pin this in the ceiling by chance? We can. No? Okay, maybe it needs the force of two of those? Bro, chill out.
All right, but I don't think I have enough leverage without that second rod, so I think I'm still kind of screwed here. Oh, it's over there. Okay. It flew all the way over there. Okay. So I'm guessing if it would have fallen into the chasm, we prob it probably would have popped back up somewhere. Can't grab it from here, right? Nah. Alright, I think we've got this now. Okay, went a little too soon. Looks good. Okay, so it needs to touch the ground for just a, a split second if we want to get it right on it. Really? Okay, let's adjust. I didn't want the whole thing to come apart. Bro, come on. Let's try it from here, see if we can get the right angle from here. I honestly don't know if that's going to be better or worse. My instinct is that's a worse position for that to be in. It's going to send it straight back. Yeah, that's not going to work. Um, if I do this from far back... No. Okay, maybe that's my method. Wait for it to go really, really far back. Boom! Will whatever we get from this be worth the time we put in? Probably not, but that's not what we're here for anyway. Yeah, actually, honestly, that's pretty useful early on. We're not really making those ourselves, so I like it. All right, we got two shrines done today. And let's go and see if we can prop up that sign before we have to end this episode. I got a couple more minutes. Might be able to do some things with some uh, tree stumps, maybe, if nothing else is available. I'm coming, sign guy. I forgot his name. We're going to have to learn his name. We're probably going to be seeing him all over the world. <laughs> um, hi, random chest. Oh, look, there's some stuff right there. Cool.
that close enough? There we go. Alright, sign guy. Let's see if we can use this to help sign guy. use this okay I got you bro I got you oh it's you thanks for your help earlier I'm putting President Hudson here too Addison we got to remember Addison that's his name just think of it like Addison oh, no that's not a thing never mind I take it back <laughs> I'm putting President Hudson here too but I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Try letting go, man. Uh -huh. I got your back. <gasps> Will he be okay? He won't fall? <gasps> How's the president standing? <sighs> that was brilliant. I would have never thought of it. All right, let's get him secured while he's still standing. Do we think this guy is going to get better at his job throughout the course of this game? Do we think that he'll do better each time we, we do one of these signs? I, I want to see the transformation of Addison from a terrible carpenter to a really, really good one. Just put this right there, get that fastened, and... Ah! Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. Fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. <laughs> also, you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. <laughs> Damn, that looked good. Kind of want one of those now. But I still don't feel like I've thanked you enough. This is a little something from my premium collection, a special gift from me to you. Now I can go other places to put up more signs. And with that, I'm off. Okay, there we go. Another one down. Is that an enemy base over there? Looks like it. Cool. Um, yep, might have to look at that. And uh, we also need to figure out how to get into this tower. Okay, so it looks like there's a standard way in. But honestly, I may try some non-standard ways. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, at any rate, thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Chris Murphy, JW, Bracken, Quinless, Chris Smith, Vlado101, and Kyle Schluter. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.